conferência de imprensa com o Alexander Vukic, o primeiro finalista do All Eras Open 4. Alexander, congrats again. Another, another week, another final for you. Your first thoughts after this comeback? Just, uh, just, yeah, just very happy, very happy to have won that. Um, it was a very tough match. He's a great, great player. Um, and was causing me a lot of problems. Um, he's got a great forehand when he sets up and, and hits that. I don't think there's many people that can do much off that. So I was just kind of trying to weather the storm and uh, yeah, very, very happy to be going to another final. Four weeks ago, if I had told you you were going to play three finals, uh, what would your reaction be like? I'd, I'd probably be like, that sounds tiring. Um, <laughs> but now that I'm here, um, it's actually not that bad to be honest. It's uh, it just, you're just kind of taking it day by day, and uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's not tennis. You can't, you don't have too much time to enjoy the moments in a way. So right now, I'm, I'm very happy with it, and I'll enjoy the win. Maybe after French Open, I'll, I'll have a week off and uh, and kind of enjoy the the last month or so. Have you ever been uh, playing so well for so many weeks in a row? Uh, and th another question. Maybe it's the same question, answer. Do you feel you're playing the best tennis of your life now? I feel like I'm playing my most consistently good tennis. Um, there's, I feel like I've always had moments where I can play well, and by moments, like there's been a few matches where I have been able to play well. I just feel like I've been able to, um, I think my average level has, has kind of increased, um, and I've been able to rely on a few more shots consistent, more consistently than before, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I had four of these weeks. Last year when I played Maya, I made two finals, first round and then a semi. So yeah, I guess I've, I've topped that. So yeah, this is probably the best four weeks that I've had, yeah. And now it's guaranteed you're gonna, you're gonna be a top 100 player yeah. on Monday. How does it feel? Yeah, very good, very good. I knew there was a chance um, that even if I lost, I could still be top 100. Um, But I also know that for Wimbledon main draw, you know, I would have been a few out, but now I've, uh, I've got in automatically. That was probably my main goal. Um, and uh, yeah, if uh, I think someone would have said that I would have been Wimbledon main draw four weeks ago, I would have, yeah, that would, that would not have been true, to be honest, yeah. Do you feel like a fast surface player or just the same play you play? Or? I honestly don't know, man. I, at this point, I don't know because I made the final in Seoul and that was the quickest course I've ever played in my life. Um, and I like grass as well. But then I also like clay. Like, I like quicker, like quicker clay, like, like it is here. Um, so I couldn't tell you, mate, because that's what, I guess that's the tough thing with my coaches. We're trying to figure out a schedule, but it's just like, where do I play best? I don't know, you know? So we'll, uh, we'll see, yeah. Going back to the rankings, uh, are you someone that usually pays attention to the math and thinks about the points and maybe reads some tweets about what was happening today, for example, if you win some, you're, you're getting top 100 or not really? Yeah, I probably don't an analyze it a crazy amount, but I, I'm aware of what's going on. It's in the back of my head, um, I think. But when I'm on court, I try not to think about it. Um, there's moments when you do. And sometimes it helps, sometimes it's more of a motivator in a way. Um, sometimes it can maybe add too much pressure, but I try to stay in the moment as much as I can, but it's nice to see um, the rankings come as a result of winning matches, I think more so than, than aiming for certain rankings. I don't think I, I, I particularly aim for certain rankings, but um, it's nice to see that winning matches and, and, and the hard work kind of paying off. Was the top 100 uh, your goal for this season? It was, yeah, it was. Um, it's, it's probably higher than that, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind kind of really getting my way in there, to be honest. Um, but my goal was actually to get US Open main draw at the beginning of the year. I thought it would be tough because I had a lot of points coming off and I was injured for probably half the year last year with my elbow. So I knew now, I don't have any points to defend until September. So I knew that now I could maybe make the jump. I didn't expect this to come this early, to be honest. So, so now you're going to be pretty relaxed, not only tomorrow, but in the next few months? So. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try to, um, but I don't think anything changes, to be honest. It's, it's the same 
it's the same process, it's, it's the same day by day, and it's kind of, I think I'll be more relaxed playing very nice tournaments, um, you know, tournaments that you dream of, of playing. Um, but there will be other challenges and other pressures, and, and I'm excited to, to see how I handle them, to be honest. Can you tell me how, how is it working with the Tennis Australia? Do you have help from them? Uh, we're gonna, we'll have more help from them now we are top end of it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is with Tennis Australia now, we have so many players that are actually top 100. Um, so they, they do what they can to help me. Um, and they've awarded me with a few uh, wild cards into the Aussie Open, which have helped me tremendously. Um, so I think that's why having a, a federation that is fortunate to have a Grand Slam is a, is a huge benefit. So yeah, I've definitely been, been fortunate with that. And about tomorrow, are you going to stay around to watch the other semi? Or? Probably not, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go relax. Um, I was by the pool yesterday, and I'll probably go back to the pool um, and just relax. And uh, yeah, maybe I might go to the city yesterday. We didn't go to the city yesterday, but I might go to the Lisbon um, in the city. It's Friday night, so enjoy some good vibes and see what happens. Yeah. It's the perfect weather for that. Oh, another one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, thank awesome. you so much. Thank you, guys.